One of the most frequently asked questions that I get involves cancellation of purchase agreements and what to do with the earnest money. Um, and the answer, it, it's kind of complicated. It's never a real straightforward, uh, you know, here's the answer that fits everything because there's so many variables in there. Uh, an example, this, this week, one of our agents had a valid purchase agreement, signed, sealed, delivered, it was, it was done. And then the buyers found out that the seller had not disclosed that he had a wet basement and that he had collected insurance money um, from the wet basement. And buyers always find out, so, you know, <laughs> always disclose, disclose, disclose. But so now they want to be compensated for it somehow or, or have the situation fixed. So they ask through an addendum for the seller to have XYZ company come on out and test for mold. That was their biggest concern. Um, the seller said yes, signed the addendum, had the company come out, they did the testing, and the testing was negative. There was no mold. And so we're all thinking the case is done. But no, the buyers come back and say, well, we really didn't understand the scope of this test and we want to do more intrusive tests and really verify in our mind that, um, that the house is safe. And plus we want $6,500 more. And so, you know, they're trying to renegotiate uh, the purchase agreement. And, you know, it comes down to my desk as to what is our position at this point. Well, at this point, our position is that we better still have a valid purchase agreement. Now, the addendum was signed, the seller did what was agreed to um, on the addendum, and, you know, go to closing. The buyers come back then and say, well, you know, he lied to us. He didn't uh, tell us about the wet basement um, and, and uh, the insurance money. And so we want to cancel his purchase agreement, and they send over a cancellation of purchase agreement, which he does not sign. Um, and their agent's saying, well, okay, now it's been canceled, we're going to go out and buy another house. Well, the, the truth is that they still have a valid purchase agreement. Whether uh, or not you know, a buyer or seller doesn't abide by the terms of the purchase agreement does not make it automatically canceled. Uh, and in this case, because he didn't, wasn't truthful uh, on the disclosure, it's not grounds for a cancellation. You know, what it is grounds for is going to arbitration or going into um, the small claims court for, for the money, but the contract still exists. Um, so in, in general, you know, one party cannot cancel a purchase agreement and whether terms are not met or someone is clearly in default, uh, that doesn't make any difference until it's canceled or a court, or a court tells us that it's been canceled, you know, the purchase agreement is in effect. And uh, even though one party has been wronged, you know, clearly wronged, and the state and the contract says you've been wronged, you still need to have the legal system enforce your rights. And that's where so many people get confused. They think, well, contract says this, so it's an automatic. There is no automatic. It's a legal contract, and it has to be legally destroyed or legally um, dismantled. And so if parties cannot agree on a cancellation, um, then it's got to go to statutory cancellation, which again is a legal process. Now, many agents mistakenly think that, well, it's just a form and I'll just fill out this form and we'll give it to the court and, you know, my guy will get his money back. And that is not the case. Um, statutory cancellation is a legal process. You will need an attorney in, in most cases. And, uh, well, let's just put it that way. You will need an attorney. Generally, the cost is between 350 and 500 to uh, in, enforce your rights. The attorney presents it to the court with, with all the documentation. The court says, yes, the money goes here, and this contract has now uh, been canceled. So as a broker, um, I will hold that earnest money until either the court tells me what to do with it or there is a cancellation of purchase agreement signed by both parties. So. Um, you know, keep that in mind when you're going through these negotiations that it's not as easy as it seems. It never is. And that until I'm told, the money's mine.